Yes, yes, yes. Hey guys, Gerald Peters. We're here at my property in New Orleans in the French Quarter. And today we're gonna have a very special guest. My friend, day trade professor. Today we have a special treat. My friend, the day trade professor is going to be here. We're going to be talking about his book, How to Be a Consistent uh, Trader. I mean, that, you, you have to get used to it if you've never looked at a chart, right? But let's let's back up because this I have this problem when I inter like uh, I had my friend Nick on my podcast, and if I know people and I have them on, I tend to just jump into talking and. I'm like, damn, we didn't even, he didn't tell me who he's from, where he's from, how old he is, what he does for a living. We just started talking, you know? Correct. And then two hours has gone by. I think I did that to you on my podcast as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, right? That was how ours went, right? Yeah. I yeah. just immediately started. Um, yeah, so tell us, how did this get started? So COVID happened, and I couldn't teach anymore. I already had a virtual classroom. Mm. So, because we were remote. So I bought a smart board, and I was like, all right, what can I do? Trading, that's it. Now I have the time. I've been teaching this for nine years, swing trading, long-term investing. I'm like, no, it, it could be any ticker. It could be cryptocurrency, whatever. Candles is a language. Just like every, we all speak English. We learned English. So that once you can read the candles and understand what story they're telling you, you know what's going to happen. Even if you're not, really what it, like the goal, you don't necessarily have to try to be an influencer. But for me, just documenting what I was trying to do, like you're buying a house, take pictures of it, put it on your IG. It, it's a log for you. Correct. Right? Even... Think about this. I was thinking the other day, Instagram, what a perfect trading log. Like if you just had an account, I was thinking about that, I was like, wow, Instagram would be, you could have a private account. Yes. Just for you, that you upload each trade. Maybe it'd get a little cumbersome doing that. I keep a trading log. It's different than the way you do it. What's in yours? Really on mine, it's just short. It's like the date. Did I, I do a lot of adding and trimming. Mm -hmm. That's most of what you'll see, adding and trimming, adding right. and trimming. Because I'm actually just like to your normal life. Like if you're struggling with whatever, you're probably going to struggle. In, in, yes. in, you could struggle in trading. Um, well, the reason why is that people ask me, how the hell are you consistent? And I look back, I'm like, that's true. How the hell? Oh, wait, I had one mentor. Oh, wait, I didn't jump from strategy to strategy. But also, where's my discipline coming from? Intermittent fasting. If you can learn to control what you eat and drink, and your vices, this is the big one right there. <laughs> you will know when to sell. Oh damn, the candle just hit resistance. I gotta get the hell out of this trade. Let me hit sell. <clears throat> Hope you're enjoying. The, what we're showing here is just some bits and pieces of the video. I'll post the entire interview later on my YouTube channel when I have time to kind of you know go through the video. But the, what this professor just said is super important. It's the beginning of your trading. You notice he said, when you can understand what the candlesticks are telling you. See, the charts charts start with candlesticks, or if you're like me, old school, I use bars. <clears throat> but the candlestick shows us the open, where the stock opened, and it shows us the close, right? And it also shows us the high of the day. This was the highest price and this was the lowest price. So from a candle, we can read the strength of the day. Was it an up day? Was it a down day? Where did the market open? Where did the market close? And as we stack candles on top of each other, whether we're in a five minute time frame, like the professor you'll see in videos, he talks about five minute, 15 minute, one hour, or daily, or if you're with me in the money flow gang, I'm typically using a daily uh, bars and you'll see, often you'll hear me use the phrase box, that's four bars. You'll hear me use the term breakout. These are daily bars breaking out. The bars really do give us a picture or a window into the soul of the stock market. <music> Somebody's, I posted in my close friends that I took a trade, 44,000. 
People are like, 44,000? I'm like, what the freak? I'm like, that's the lightest trade I've ever taken. <laughs> I trade hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm like, what the hell is that? Right. They're like, no, that's a year. I was like, oh, yeah, people's year salary is $40,000. Like, okay. Perspectives. Perspectives, right? Yeah. Never asked a lot. I didn't see it. Right. P perspective. Everyone should should want that. Like, you should want to trade a million dollars, right? That's the goal. I told my traders at the right. school, I'm like, you guys come. We'll trade them. I'll trade a million dollars. You guys trade whatever you got. Let's pump it up. Right. Let's go long and short. Let's have fun. And, and you should manage your ten grand like it's a million dollars. Hundred percent. That's where I get the one thousand dollar thing from. Right. Huh? I, and there's a lot of people that disagree with what I just said. Hundred percent. They'll say, "Well, you've got a small account. You have to do things differently." All right. Well, I didn't say this earlier. Earlier, we were talking about candlesticks. Candlesticks being the building block or the base of the stock chart that you're going to go to and where you're going to look to find your patterns, what are your breakouts, where where to put your stop losses. That's all called technical analysis. That stuff, one of the things you'll see when I post the entire interview with the professor, we both agree, that stuff is really not the hard part. It's the mindset. It's the discipline. It's the consistency and it's not style drifting. So what, one of the things you heard the professor mention was that one, he had one mentor. In other words, <clears throat> he stuck with one thing long enough to get some sort of proficiency or mastery before jumping in what we call, what I often call style drifting. One minute you're swinging, next minute you're this, next minute you're that, then you're doing this and you're never really building any sort of uh, repeatable pattern or skill set. You're just jumping from idea to idea. And number three, one something he said, you know, his professor was throwing around big numbers, $44,000 trade, $100,000 trade, a million dollars. These were big numbers. And you may think, well, I only have 5,000, 10,000, or maybe just 1,000. Well, listen, the game is fractal. And if you notice what he also said that I confirmed, because I really wanted to make sure you, my listeners and followers heard that was that the game is fractal. Meaning I could take the same trade with $300 that that guy took with $3 million and percentage wise, we're gonna have the same return. Obviously uh, a dollar in your pocket, it, the return, how much more, however much you put at risk, right? Plays into that. So the game is fractal though. So if you're playing with small sums of money, 5,000, 10,000, treat it like a million dollars. Matter of fact, we both kind of said laughingly, but it's true. We probably should treat it even, even more precious than that. All right. Yes, yes, yes. We made it to the end. Of, these are just little snippets. We did uh, two hours and 20 minutes, me and the professor. I'm going to be breaking down some of it, some of it from behind uh, different angles. Uh, I'll, I'll do a range of, uh, finish, uh, obviously I'll eventually drop the entire interview with the professor in his book, uh, where we talk about how to be a consistent trader. Also, my friend Robert Biggerstaff is coming up. We had a great conversation about getting started in single family real estate, how he got his 20 plus properties. Uh, very motivating, inspiring guy. Look forward to sharing these videos with you, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate you watching this little snippet. Like I said, more videos gonna follow, but hey, let me ask you something. If you're interested in attending one of my private events as a spectator and just watch the filming, interact with the influencers, ask me questions. Everyone who leaves has my cell phone number. Any questions in the future, anything you think I might could help you with, you let me know. You've uh, earned that as your uh, part of your ticket admission, so to speak. Any of you influence out, out there wanna be on my platform, let me check you out. We got to get to know each other. I'd love to share your story. I'd love to share your journey. See how you could inspire my followers. God bless.